Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are doing amazing, as always, and it's me Joe, as always, and today I want to talk about why the horror of 2024 is kind of failing. Now, uh, I don't mean that by uh, the box office numbers, you know, because many horror movies did really well in terms of box office and making money overall. Uh, hell, Alien Romulus made the most money out of all horror movies in IMAX. It's the best IMAX-released horror movie. So, uh, and I loved Alien Romulus. It was such a great time. It was such a great movie. Uh, and listen, again, I'm a big fan, okay? So, I I'm not saying that, like, uh, horror as a whole is failing in 2024. Uh, but this has to do sort of with hyping up movies, you know? Uh, more than anything. So, for example, uh, you know, uh, Long Legs, right? Long Legs is an amazing horror movie, and I really enjoyed it. Nicolas Cage was so good in that movie, and it, it was such, you know, an amazing, moody, creepy movie. I loved it, right? Uh, what Neon did, the studio behind Long Legs, was sort of this uh, campaign around, like, uh, this is the scariest movie ever made, right? This is like the most creepiest thing you'll ever see since uh, Silence of the Lambs uh, and stuff like that, you know? And honestly, I, I, I get it, right? Because today uh, you have to be sort of more aggressive with, uh, you know, your marketing stuff uh, or how, you, you know, you sort of try to get uh, people to see your movie, right? Because, again, so many movies are coming out today that you really have to sort of stand out. Uh, so I get that, you know, marketing has gotten more aggressive. I, I understand that. Uh, but, you know, this sort of haunts uh, the, the movies, basically. Because with Long Legs, right? I, lo I love the movie, right? I am sort of a person that even though I, you know, do all sorts of reactions to trailers and stuff like that, I, I, I you know, I, I'm not really trying to get hyped up. Uh, and um, I'm always trying to stay calm. And I love Long Legs. I thought it was so well done. It was brilliant. It was awesome, right? But I talked to a friend of mine and he said that it was just okay, you know, or that, you know, he was expecting more. And then online, especially like on TikTok and here on YouTube, a lot of people were talking about how, uh, you know, Neon sort of hyped up this amazing, the most scary, uh, gruesome horror movie. And then it turned out to be just an average serial killer movie, right? Uh, now, I do not agree with that. I think that, uh, you know, uh, Long Legs is much more than just a mediocre movie. I thought that it was, like, really, really good. Uh, I think it's one of the best horror movies of this year, and it's definitely making the top 2024 horror list. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it just sort of kind of destroys the aura of the movie, right? Because, uh, you know, it, like, the marketing was really well done. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying that a lot of people, a lot of people were expecting this, you know, just the most gruesome horror movie they've, you know, ever seen. And that, you know, that didn't work out, right? For many people. Uh, again, I'm trying, even though I, you know, sometimes get really hyped up for a movie, obviously, uh, but I'm always sort of trying to stay uh, grounded and just sort of not, uh, you know, like, yeah, I get hyped up from time to time, but, you know, I always try to go, you know, when I go see a movie, I always try to, you know, keep my expectations in check, so I, you know, keep, the, keep them low, you know? Uh, so this happened with Long Legs, right? A, a lot. Of, it wasn't hate, but it was more like, oh, this movie actually isn't scary. It, it's funny. Nicolas Cage is just funny in that movie. He's not scary at all. He's not scary whatsoever, you know? And then uh, the second movie that this happened with was uh, a movie that I saw Friday. Friday night, I saw The Substance, right? And I had no idea... Uh, that this movie is coming out. The point is, all right, the point is that it was my local theater and uh, they basically had a poster for uh, The Substance, right? And this movie uh, really has like a really limited release, um, so it's not playing everywhere. And I was like, The Substance, that sounds cool. And 
Honestly, I can't, uh, you know, I wasn't even able to do a review for The Substance because it was so, so good. It was so scary. It was, it was a body horror movie, right? And I love body horror. I love The Fly. Uh, that's like an amazing movie. I love John Carpenter's The Thing. I love these movies, right? And uh, this movie was just, you know, right up my alley. It, it was amazing. You know, it truly was. And uh, again, it, if you've never seen, uh, you know, anything about uh, or, or never heard anything about the substance, just don't look up the trailers. Don't look up anything. Just go and see the movie if you can. Because again, this movie has like a limited run in theaters right now. Uh, but again, I, I, you know, I, I looked online and a lot of people, again, this is movie, this movie is not really that scary, you know, like, uh, come on, man, like, come on. This movie actually won, like, the best screenplay in Cannes uh, at that film festival, so uh, it was very well written, it was just really well put together, uh, really well paced also, it, you know, it was just really good. Even though it was like a longer movie, I really enjoyed it. But again, my point is that the studios shouldn't hype up movies, uh, especially horror movies, uh, to the point they sometimes do. And because again, then, then people, then some people, uh, <laughs> uh, are just gonna end up being disappointed that, you know, the movie that, that, you know, was promised to be the most scariest thing of all time is actually not that scary. Um, again, I think the best example of this year is definitely Long Legs, uh, but, you know, I, I guess, uh, you maybe can think of some other horror movies, uh, this year. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Again, I, I think that's sort of why, uh, sort of a more low-key kind of um, marketing works better sometimes than, you know, but again, I do want to point out, and I'm not taking this away from Long Legs, the marketing was great, uh, but again, it just made some people expecting stuff that, you know, they just wouldn't deliver, they just wasn't there. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to talk about this because I was sort of thinking about this and I was like, you know what, I probably should talk about it or, you know, maybe somebody <laughs> uh, has like uh, the same opinion or if, if, you know, if you don't agree with me, that's fine. Uh, but again, I just wanted to talk about this. Uh, thank you so much as always for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care and bye.